listen to him play a lot of jazz. Did that did that get you into jazz also? Yeah, yeah, that's that's when I really got into jazz. So I, I started undergrad as a, I thought I wanted to be a, a chorus or choir teacher. Okay. And then after one year of kind of going into the schools and, and trying that out, I knew that that's not what I wanted to do. And at the same time, I was getting really, really into um, into bass. Uh, both, you know, uh, I was I was doing classical at school, but I was also learning, getting really into jazz, listening to all the great jazz bass players. Sure. So I hadn't heard any of that in high school or growing up in rural Ohio. Like that's not something. Not yeah. Something the, like was, there's probably, I mean, I can't imagine there's any clubs you can go check out or there's not really much of a scene. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> zero, zero. So I, I mean, I, I, I was into also like folk, um, jet, uh, bluegrass, that kind of stuff. And I carried that into college too. And I really liked some of the bass players who were doing um, kind of, jazz bluegrass fusion sorts of things like Jim Curran with the David uh David Grisman quintet got really sure. excited about that. Yeah, yeah, he's been on the podcast. It was a it was cool oh, he is? Oh, yeah. oh, he was he was my hero. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um so what records were you checking out then to get exposed to the jazz? What were some early jazz records where you're like, oh man. Oh um let's see. Uh, I love Money Jungle with Mingus. Oh, sure. Uh, That's such a bizarre uh, record, isn't it? It sounds like he's it just, is. <laughs> he's just rebelling uh, against love- the other two. Like, that's all it sounds like. Duke and uh, Max are kind of locked in, and then Mingus is just this wild card. Uh-huh. That's yeah. what I loved about it. But it, but it, it really worked. And, I, yeah, at first, I thought it was a really weird pairing to have Ellington and Mingus. Um, but then I just loved the way that they played off of each other and how Mingus, you know, he's, he's, he is kind of the rebel and he was yeah. doing it in musical form and that, and I just love when people's true character comes through and they're playing. Twenty twenty one, I think it was April. That's when they called and said, Hey, Brian's, Brian's decided to leave the band and, and he's going to become an owner and, us and Dalton guitars, so it's a really exciting thing for him. But we need a bass player. We'd like you to, we'd like you to join. Okay. So that's okay. Kind of, cool. <laughs> that's that's a, it, it's an interesting story because it seems like all the pieces had always been there, and they were just taking this kind of like, you know, all over the place road yeah. to get yeah. to get back, you know, yeah. to where they were twenty <laughs> years ago. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. like. There was this element of foreshadowing that's in the story, <laughs> you know, they're like, all right, everybody's going to go off and do their thing and, you know, branch out, whatever. Uh-huh. And then it all comes full circle. Uh, I kind of love that. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's really, I mean, the band, the, what, what the, those guys did for 15 years is they built up this amazing fan base, this amazing catalog of music. Um, they they were they've just been, they've been working really hard and they've been um, growing and um, evolving as a band and so i it's it's really fortunate that i can just kind of you know insert myself back in after they've done all this work yeah um, they've built a festival if you've heard about the red wing roots festival that they've i think it's gonna be year eight now or something like oh, that. oh wow they, no i hadn't heard about that they started this festival outside of stanton virginia um started really small but it's grown every year and now it's i think they say they have about six thousand um six or seven thousand people that attend um, and they bring in some really big name bands so they they just they built up so much over the last 15 years and it's yeah it's really wonderful to be able to just jump in 